Zapraszam Was na stronkę forzdrop.gg, gdzie możecie otwierać przeróżne skrzynki i dropić skiny, na przykład takie jak ten tutaj. A z kodem Mateo25 dostaniecie 25% więcej przy doładowaniu. Link do stronki znajdziecie w opisie. Serdecznie polecam. Rather passively now can fall back on towards the site. Two players pushing in from highway. We do have another arrival. This time Twist fills the feed. Three versus four and equalizing. Let's see if you can find that new angle. So you yeah. can plant safe mm -hmm. and that's the cross. Okay, and you can then respond with a Molotov in kind. Yeah. Interesting. Well, we do have a three-on-three -three situation. There is a kit available for Steel. He's got the smoke as well. I'm sure that will come into play. You can see these new angles as we make their way towards the retake now. It looks absolutely beautiful. You can see that open side towards the right. And it's going to be up to a leader. The double stack towards Quad here, trying to bait in his teammate the best he can. Now, will they suspect it? Ethan certainly seems to think so. The knives are coming out. Is it going to be delivered? The first round delivers a knife kill. And it's going to be down the cold What has that happened here? Yeah. The first ever show match here, or first ever game played on the new version of Cash. You can see it's luscious and green. There's new opportunities, and we do see a push towards middle. The jump has been landed by Stewie this time as he makes his way down. This could be absolutely colossal. He pushes round, he's only good for one. The P250, no armor, is what takes him down. Elise is ready and waiting, and it will be a quick four and four. It actually helps out the teams quite a lot now as they've actually got an AK 47. Config in the server as well. Might go well for Optic, but it always a threat. Oh. Okay, Kenny's got the Deagle and catches Jax's aggression. We talked about that, that mid-round aggression on Cash, always a big part of the play. Nitro boosted up and he's got the perfect weapon for the job. Round three with the auto sniper. Tarek's got another one. Team Squeaky, they're making these unarmored sidearms work. Elysian trouble though. Ethan going to be stabilizing for him. He still hasn't died and it will conclude. It's a main there. And interesting, we saw in the, the pre-game finish, you can actually smoke towards the mid-entrance from the B-bomb side now from Checkers, correct? So there's lots of options to back up your teammates that have less players potentially towards middle, right? Well, oh, okay. speaking of less players, it's going to be serious this game, lowering them down. It's the M249, I believe. So that's doing great work as we get into a three versus two now. It's up to Jack to try and salvage the situation, making his way through towards A main. And it will be player towards Forklift. Bomb planted in the default spot. I believe we have one player towards as well. He's gonna have to step up here. First kill should be no problem whatsoever. Twist didn't see it coming. Tarek now AK-47 in hand. Trying to take them down, but he's got problems ahead of him, but apparently not. Still completely eviscerated by the AK there. Tarek doing God's work towards MBK. He did. Got config. And there's more warbanks coming in. The lineup was always a bit janky. Still has the lineup in his mind. There's the new boost there. This is the new boost. Yeah, I think this boost really shines for T's, particularly when CTs are going to be trying to rebuild. Right. So a post-plant situation there. So you can see Kenny S trying to join him with the fun. He might get more than he bargained for, though. They're not checking Tarek's position as he starts to mow them down. Oh, it's a lovely round there. I think that's a really interesting point. So it benefits the CTs at the start of the round, but post-plant, if you're not holding it for the entire uh, interaction, you just want to get one kill, drop down, and just kind of slow them down and make things a bit more problematic for them. So we're going to see more of a mid-focus here for the CTs on their force fight. Auto shotgun towards middle, Config's got his well cut out for him. He's doing a great job so far though. Drops down and it's the Zeus from Stewie. He gets the AK-47 and now he's cooking with gas. That's one way to do it. It looks so good from Config's POV until Stewie arrived with the Zeus. Ethan's 5-7 in the feed as well. Kenny, aggressive out of main. He's going to have more than perhaps he bargained for. He does fall back just a little bit. Could have got caught on the cross. Still thriving. Stewie on the cross as well from highway. Oh, and eliminated his teammate, not today, finds his head. Oh, that's Jeez. a filthy little shot from Twister. Preemptive towards the connector, and it's going to be Steel to go down. Gets a taste of the AK, and it's going to be Twister to finish things off. That's all, you can still be Molotov there, but it means you can't just be completely overwhelmed as soon as you're flashing. Yeah. You're not going to have any cover whatsoever. So that's a nice little change that makes that position a bit stronger on the CT side. That's... Classic Molotovs being thrown towards middle. I like the fact that the same smokes, the lineups they used to know, muscle memory. I, I know all the smokes towards middle as well. Yeah. It seems like everything is just as viable as it was before. It certainly is. I mean, you just get, the visuals may have changed, but your muscle memory certainly stands oh! the same. Elite is a robot. No worries. He gets a quick double. Mm, one, you put one, one quite deep so they can't run to CT, and you put one yeah. on that pipe to bleed them at the back. They have forced onto the site. It's possible and will be interesting to see how it continues to develop. A fast peek from Kenny on B, it's a chance, and Nitro receives him. No worries. Just to ask as well, I'm, I'm sure I know. Oh, hold on. <gasps> are, are the spawns exactly the same? Have you adjusted yeah, spawn we, timings? We didn't tweak any of the spawns. Okay, well, there we go. Now, we're gonna see an exchange from Jax with this new hole in the wall. It makes Twist's advance up highway a whole lot more risky. You have a smoke on Z, you were free. 15 seconds bought, take your highway control. Now he's gotta be a little bit more conscious as he exposes himself. 
catch from Steel with his scavenged away Krieg, and it looks like the CTs are going to be doing a whole lot with a little here. New door. Oh, and it's equal stuff. PK can see him being very aware <gasps> of the window, but he doesn't seem to be shaken at all. That's a lovely shot towards Jax. One bullet, that's all that's required. Nonsense. Stewie got the line towards main, has the support from Ethan from up high. Jump peeking for the info, everything feels the same. You can see this is all too familiar territory for Stewie as he does catch Kenny. After his early heroics with the AK-47, Twist then looking for a one versus three. North American's magician. North America's map. 1v3. Here we go. Does get the first. Catches Nitro on the truck and another. Steel Court trying to piece together where the last could be. It is going to be Stewie 2K. Misses the shot. Stewie up. Oh. He's getting hunted. It's Twist with a one versus three. Right, so there's still possible to bang that, but it's not necessarily going to be happening too often. Yeah. Yeah, I almost completely forgot about those spawn wall bangs all the way through to Z. Out main goes Steel. Connects. Oh, they're pulling this one back. Looking, no worries at all. Config's not really got the weapon or the health for the job. Confirmed by Steel. Nice hold, nice frag on towards him. I'd say he's got 64 bullets, but it's like BB pellets. No, it's, yeah, 64 packing peanuts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he realizes that it's not looking good, but it is a nice distraction for Tarek to come in and take down Nitro. Wow. Remain, Tarek, he did something rather absurd. Double kill with his deagle, he won't be caught. In fact, he actually wants another one. Swings back out, dealt with by Jax, and there's so many, he's dealing with it. Finally shut down by Kenny's repositioning. Doesn't connect, Ethan left in a 1v2. Oh, he had a go. Just whistles past the ear of a liege and a roar from the crowd and indeed the team. If you can get that down on the CT side, I mean, if you have full control by man, especially that bomb down, that's going to be uh, a very powerful spot. They're going to rotate everyone down now. They're going to smoke it, it's sendry, and uh, these wall bangs are four. I never saw many kills in this spot, but I knew the damage was possible. I, I assume it's the same values in terms of that sort of spam. It will do some damage, but not an awful lot. It might not be identical damage, but okay. yeah, it should be very similar. Hello, Tarek. Another one added to the tally. Three nice kills. Well, he's got the AWP, his teammates with just Deagle. He's going to have to step up and go above and beyond as he waits towards the CT truck. Remember, you can see the angle now, the player's crossing towards Quad. And that's the one we're looking for. That's the AWP angle, and that's lovely. He's going to take Ethan down and still looking for more here. Tarek will back him up. He's going to get a second bite of the cherry. So he crosses over and pre-firing that position. Kenny will start to reposition here. Steel, who still gets going to go down from the forklift position. 2-2-K, taking a little bit of damage there, and it's going to be down to Kenny. Remember, the only player that came into this round with a real weapon, his teammates had deagles. They took an eco, but here he comes. A classic clap <laughs> for Kenny S. Have you ever seen anything like it? That's what we wanted to see with the AWP. He Kenny and Tarek, then, looking to win this one right here, right now, up against four. Good start. Stewie caught on his push towards fence. They're already starting to forge a path, though, towards B. Tarek a little late to this party, but he's not got the weapon for the job either. What's going to do this in century? Yeah. yeah, what's the plan? Jumps through, my goodness, he had a shot. So did Nitro. Oh, here we go again. Kenny S, one versus three. Do you believe, Henry? I am always believing this guy's got the, the magic stick in his hands. We'll see what he can do with it. It's going to take some heroics here, and that's not a bad start at all. Still is low as well, dropping the smoke, trying to buy himself some space here. The flashbang to follow it up. He's going to push through it, I believe, but he does... Not fancy it right now. Gonna go for a wall bang potentially as he heads towards heaven here. And now, oh, Steel's been spotted. Oh, it's happening. Oh, he's, seen, he's so good. <laughs> Feeling himself. Okay, there so we'll follow that. That's gonna be a big part. Onto the corner. This is, that, this is actually very interesting. We haven't seen this yet. So you can jump up there now to the boosted position uh, by yourself. That's a, a really nice way to mix things up. Instead of just being isolated in the corner, some different variations of the, uh, that angle to hold. Should be a pretty convincing round here for Team Toxic, but the first frag. We'll go in favor of a lead. USPs and one deagle here. Oh, this is actually... The dink. This is going to be the most oh, awkward no. way, Twist. No, He's no, handing no, no, out no, no. all the dinks. Not the full eco. Twist and a lead. They're on the full eco and already have found three between them. Leave Steel and Nitro. You said they had to eco. It turns out that was the, uh, the formula. Oh, it's actually and going to config. config loves a knife. He loves He's had it. some fav favorable situations like this. Steel. Steel. Not no. like this. No. Steel. Oh. Steel. He steals it. We started this show match with knives, we finish it the same.